denaturation of enzymes. Before we start, you should already know what enzymes actually are. Watch our video, What are enzymes? Each enzyme has conditions under which it functions best. In other words, the point at which the rate of reaction is at its highest. Amongst these conditions, the most well-known are temperature and pH. If these conditions vary from the optimal level for that enzyme, the enzyme can become denatured and consequently the rate of reaction will decrease. However, different enzymes have different optimal conditions. One consequence of denaturation can be disturbance of the organism's inner balance, also called homeostasis. For example, the activity of proteins which is not optimal can affect protein digestion in the body. If we look in more detail, denaturation of enzymes and any other protein means that the shape of the enzyme has changed in some way, usually a permanent change. The activity of an enzyme depends heavily on its shape, particularly of the active site which binds the substrate or substrates. This change of structure means that the active site is not shaped for optimal rate of reaction. So for example, if the temperature of the environment is too high for the specific enzyme, it may become denatured. Typically, enzymes that operate in warm-blooded animals tend to have an optimal temperature of 37 degrees Celsius, which is body temperature. Then as the temperature rises above that, the rate of reaction rapidly falls because the active site has changed shape. Whereas enzymes in bacteria that live in the thermal vents have a much higher optimal temperature. Now here comes the chemistry behind this. When temperature increases, the individual amino acids that make up the enzyme vibrate at a higher frequency. This results in breaking of hydrogen bonds between amino acids and different parts of the protein chain leading to a change of shape. At even higher temperatures, bonds between individual amino acids called peptide acids can break, leading the protein to fragment. Another important variable is pH a pH level which is either too high or too low for a particular enzyme can lead to change of protein structure. Different enzymes will have different optimal pHs. The optimal pH for an enzyme depends upon where it normally works. Pepsin works in the acidic stomach and so unsurprisingly has an optimum pH of 2. How does pH affect the active site of enzymes? If the pH is too low for the enzyme, then the concentration of hydrogen ions will be greater than normal, and these will interact with amino acids, leading to a change in shape of the active site, thus reducing the rate of reaction. So from this video, you should know that enzymes have optimal conditions under which they operate. Different enzymes have different preferred conditions with some preferring acidic conditions and others preferring alkali conditions. Temperature is also an important factor, with most enzymes having an optimal temperature of 37 degrees and then denaturing above that. 